All right. Well, I guess it must be around about this time of year that I managed to find myself one of these. Uh, if you don't know what this is, I'll tell you. It's an attack pack truck. About a year ago, maybe slightly more, I found one of these. Not one of these, but a, another thing from this line. And I did a video of it, uh, and it was this tank thing, which basically when you pull its tail, or part of it, it becomes a monster, like this one does. So you pull this cable thing on the back, and... He's got a mouth and stuff, so... Uh, they are made by Hot Wheels, and they came out around about 92 to 94. And there is a good website, which pretty much shows you them all that you can get. But this one is an honour. There is a... A version of this but a different colored car but has a kind of engine thing sticking out here and it has a crane thing now this may have had a crane originally doesn't have it now but for I think about 50 pence or a pound from the charity shop I'm quite happy with what I've got so yeah so you pull these kind of chain hook thing here and uh, obviously that, that was an action feature I was hoping to see for later but uh, you know I'll just roll with it so yeah you can Lift him up by his back wheels and his front wheels open up and he's got three mouths. I do like the little tongue inside his mouth there. That's quite a nice feature. If you, if you don't snap it back quick enough it does kind of bite your bottom jaw a little bit. Because uh, when his mouth opens it springs out as well. A bit like, um, oh, what, like a shark. That's it. Yes. Like a shark. Now unfortunately... Due to the fact that his wheels become mouths, uh, they don't really roll very well. Like, so you cannot really use it as a, a truck, really, because just that happens. And uh, his cage here does open up, and there is a little divot in the back there to hold the wheels of a vehicle in place, whilst you've got them encased in there. The crane bit goes on this bit here apparently but uh, I don't know whether this one actually came with the crane bit like I say I couldn't find any information to see if this was a, a I mean obviously it is a variant but to what extent of variant it is I don't, I don't know but uh, I do like these and I, if whenever I see them I, I like to pick them up uh, I would pretty much like to get all of them if I could for like I normally do for a pretty good price um, there was something I wanted to see, and that's kind of annoying that I can't remember what it was. Yes, I remember now, yes. Um, for all these are, like, knocking on 20 year old now, um, what I do like, yeah, laptop, what I do like about them is that they, they kind of, for all they're kind of somewhat retro in their own sense. They do remind us of a couple of the vehicles from the, sort of, probably mid-80s, where you had... Um, like a, a truck thing which had about 30 wheels maybe and it was like a snake thing and it would go over everything so that was really cool and there was another one which was a, a bit like a monster truck but uh, claws and things came out of its wheels and that was supposed to assist it to get over like much more harder terrain um, if I can look that up I will put the the names of those in the comments and things for you to check out if you're not aware of them. If you are aware of them, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, and they were brilliant. Um, so yeah, brilliant attack pack. Uh, very much like an excellent toy line. Check them out. Uh, don't buy them, obviously. Let, leave them there for me to buy. But uh, certainly have a look at them, and I'll catch you all later on.